Hello, Gamer Mom is back. And in this video, we're going to turn this noob into broke and become pro in Blast Roots. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcore Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, guys, so are you ready to help this noob become broke? Anyways, I made a similar video two years ago. <laughs> there you go, 2021. But there are lots of changes, like for example, how the blocks fruit looks like. And we're about to see if there are some changes with the skills. So first we got the possession. This is the same to be honest. Z skill, there you go. Anyways, let's try it on the bandits. So guys, check this out. Z skill, there you go. Nice ice effect. Now just three times you will be defeating the bandits. Anyways, all stats will go to the blocks fruit at first, okay? I will be showing you the final stats. Target here is level 15. Go. And for the stats, you have 21 melee. And blocks fruit 20. What came around? 21? I mean 24 melee? Guys, we're gonna go and head to the Fountain City to do the Fountain Strat. So how do you do it? First, we're gonna attack Gully Pirates. How? Just lure it on a wall. Punch it and last hit with your blocks fruit skill or the possession skill. So guys, check this out. This is a proof that this pirate will not attack you. There you go. And then defeat it with the Z skill. And with just one galley pirate, we will be unlocking our F skill, the Wandering Soul. So check this out, F skill again, Wandering Soul. Notice that while using your F skill, you will be leaving your body, the real body. Where is it? There you go. <laughs> I don't know if you can damage while using this skill. So guys, make sure to comment it in the comment section if you know that. You will also unlock your X skill here, the Soul Ruler. And sad to say, these are the only two skills that you can use to damage your enemy. Z and X skill. Our goal here is level 60. We're gonna skip the pirate village. Here are the stats guys. Melee 40, defense 30, block sports 110. Next island is the desert. First target, desert bandits until level 75. So there you go, that's the X skill. So guys, keep on defeating them. Go and our target level here again is level 75. Once you reach that level, next stop, desert officers until level 90. Guys, just jump on houses. High ground is our friend. X and Z skill, and that is it. Go again, continue grinding here until level 90. And we reach level 91 here. <laughs> Moving on, next island is the frozen village. Make sure to buy everything the teacher sells at the cave. Here it is. And after that, make sure to start defeating the snow bandits until 105. Again, high ground. There you go. As you can see, easy. They cannot damage you here. So keep on defeating them until, again, 105. Skip the other mobs and go straight to the Yeti. So guys, Yeti is the mini boss in this island. Level 120 is our target. So guys, use your Z and X skill and create distance, okay? Wait for your skills to cool down and that's it. Just keep on repeating it and you will easily defeat this boss. Also, you will get a fur from defeating this one. There you go. Again, target is level 120. For the stats, melee 50, defense 50, block fruits 260. Next island is the marine fortress. Before grinding, make sure to buy the black cape located in this tower. I think it costs 50,000 bellies. There you go. Let's check it out. There you go, 50,000. So guys, after that, straight to the Chief Petty Officers. Guys, just by killing one or finishing one quest, I level up three times. So make sure to finish or defeat these mobs. There you go. See that? One, two, three. And do this until level 130. And with that, you will be unlocking your next quest. Defeat the Vice Admiral. So guys, gold here, 220. And in order to defeat him, make sure to dodge his long-range attacks. This one. There you go, dash, and use your skills. Okay? Just keep on repeating that one. And also, guys, we will be unlocking our uh, C skill here, Resurrection. So, you can activate it. And once your HP hits zero, you will be revived as a skeleton or as Brook. You can only use this once. Check this out. Once it's already activated. There you go. Anyway, that's it for all our skills. This one looks good. We still need to buy Brook's Sword, right? Anyways, here are stats. There you go. And let's go straight to grinding back the Vice Admirals. Also, you can get the cape here, right? Or the coat, sorry. 
Here are the stats again. Blocks fruits, 530. Mill defense, 65. Next up, the prison. So guys, warden until 230. There you go. Just do wall strat. Actually, you're gonna use this strat on all these bosses. There you go, guys. Very easy. Just find a wall and he cannot damage you. Okay, just keep using your skills. Actually, we should have bought Brook's sword first. Anyway, at level 230, you can start defeating Warden and Chief Warden until 240. And yes, Server Hop is the key to grinding faster in the first scene. There you go, guys. Very easy. So after that, at 240, you can start defeating the final boss here, Swan. But guys, you can still defeat Warden and Chief Warden if they're available. Okay? Target level is 350. Tips, make sure to create distance after every skill. Why guys? Because check this out. This boss can burst you. <laughs> Even at this range, he can damage you. Okay? So again, create enough distance and keep using your skills every cooldown. So guys, that's it. Continue grinding until 350. There you go. Don't forget. Oh, I mean, here are the stats. <laughs> I won't forget to show you. Melee defense, 125. Block fruits, 800. Next island is the Magma Village. So here, you're gonna defeat the Magma Admiral until 425. Again, keep on server hopping. Guys, remember how we defeated uh, our Vice Admiral? That's how you will defeat this one. So guys, wait for him to use his skill and then use your own skills. Again, dodge his skill. Okay, let's wait for it. There you go. And you're gonna use your own skills. Keep on repeating that until you defeat this boss. Make sure to look out for bounty hunters because there are lots of players out here or some players that just want to kill you. Okay, 425. Before we leave this area, guys, here are your stats. Melee defense, 175, 925 for Blast Fruits. And we're gonna buy Brook's Sword. The Soul Cane located here. There you go. Wait, let's check it out. Not here. I think it's here guys there you go okay there you go so guys check this out okay and this sword costs i think 750,000 bellies there you go okay we were able to buy it now time to grind the next island anyways this is the sword really looks good okay next island is the whirlpool or under it is the underwater city target fishman lord until level 500 Again guys, level 500. Why? Guys, this boss is very easy to defeat and gives out lots of experience. Just do wall strat again. Just like Swan, he can damage you with only one skill. This one. So make sure to dodge that. Create distance after every skill, okay? Or if you can tank it, go for it. Let's try our sword, guys. <laughs> I think I, our sword has no stats. Also has low mastery, so the damage is really low. But we're gonna defeat him once. There you go, guys. Check that out. Master 40 for the solo cane. <laughs> Anyways, to make things faster, we're gonna use our revive fruit. There you go. Okay, so at 500, next island is the Skylands. But before we go back to grinding, check this out. I think I saw a fruit. There you go. Free fruit. Oh, a bomb fruit. This is a lot better for grinding compared to revive fruit, but we're gonna continue with the revive fruit. Upper, upper yard. Target is Whisper until 625. Guys, make sure to use the Stone Strat here. How do you do that? Similar with the High Ground Strat. There you go. This boss cannot hit you here. So use your Z skill. Wait, wait. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, guys. There are lots of other players here. Excuse me, bro. <laughs> We're able to damage him. Sorry. Ah, oh, guys, we died. <laughs> but don't worry. Make sure to damage the boss. Okay. We're not here to PvP. Maybe it's our fault that we attack them first, but let's just focus on grinding. Okay, so even though we died, as long as our damage is enough, we can still get experience from it. There you go, guys. See that experience? Anyways, oh, love fruit. <laughs> Anyways, guys, again, our goal here is to reach level 625, okay? We're gonna skip lots of mobs, the Shandas, the Thunder God... And etc etc <laughs> guys if you can buy the observation hockey now 625 here are the stats 300 mil defense block fruits 1275 and for the fine island fountain city 
and we are back with the galley pirates so guys you can now defeat four at a time i go just make sure to dodge their skills and by the observation hockey we're gonna skip cyborg and galley captains because he's hard to defeat galley captains are really far away okay but 700 guys that's it is this a pro brook now i think not yet they want us to make a max level brook comment it on the comment section so guys again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom gamer nom out